refuse to fuck with the media, but I had to tap in with my people, man, refuse media, that interview coming soon, they just lined me up for the free throw, you hear me? Yeah, do be on the lookout, oh. La da da, bop, my boy, Kevin Kent. This is my new thing I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the light, new light skin thing, nigga. Is that the new thing? Yeah, helpers. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's working, though. Thank you, it's man. It's working for you, because I see you doing your motherfucking thing. Yeah, day, trying man. to, man. Trying to, man. man. Trying to encourage I others, man. welcome my boy, Kevin Kent, to Refuse Media, and we got to get this Refuse Media interview cracking. Yeah. Long he, overdue. He, he broke me out of retirement, y'all. I did. I had to. I was, you know, I, I wasn't doing, I wasn't putting, I was still doing interviews. Right. But I wasn't being in interviews no more. You, you know, he said, oh, no, no, no. No, nigga, I need a classic. No, no, no. I need no. a classic. I need, <laughs> one, I need one of those where it's organic. You know what I'm saying? I said, all right, if I'm going to do it, mm -hmm. I got to do it for my, on, my three that. drinks. Three drinks later, pop. Come on, man. man. Three drinks you know later. What I'm saying? Kevin Kent, who is Kevin Kent? Go follow me at who is Kevin Kent on every social media platform. Um, actor, comedian, engineer, uh, writer, um, philanthropist. Nah, I'm not, I'm not a philanthropist, nigga. Not yet. yet. Not yet. yet. Nah, but I, I <coughs> definitely try to do it all. I'm a jack of many trades. I wear many hats. I try to do everything and yep. try to, you know what I'm saying? I try to not have to outsource. Yeah. Because when you yeah. outsource with niggas, it takes time away from your yeah. what you got overall to goal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, most definitely. So That's I've dope. just been learning everything, man. Let's get into it, man. Let's 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 get into that. Let's get into who is Kevin Kent, man. Uh, where you come from? What part of this world? I was born in Boston. Okay. I was born in actually Worcester, Massachusetts, kind of near Boston. And then um, I bounced around my whole life. So I went back and forth. My my mom always lived in L.A. and my dad lived in Boston. Okay. So I'd get in trouble one year in school. They'd send me out to Boston. I lived there for two years, get in trouble. My dad sent me back out to Cali. Okay. So I created relationships and created. You know, I even got a kid on each coast. Okay. So you know okay. what I'm saying? I lived many, many years in each part and just grew friends and you know what I mean? That's dope. Yeah, that's dude. dope. That's dope. Okay. And now I'm living in California, Covita, California. Now in your in your in your past of bouncing around, did you see entertainment in your in your future? Yeah, I always did. I always did. In school I was always in drama classes. I was always studying the art of um, how to be an actor. I had headshots, little, little black and whites. You know, I did it I did all that. I did background in movies when I was like ten, eleven. Um, the first poem, I wrote a poem and then they put it in a, a book when mm. I was like 12 years old. Mm. It was some poem about my mom. And uh, after that, I was like, oh shit, you know, I can rhyme. And I met this dude named Crooked T. He was a Del Monte Block gangster crip in Anaheim. And he was like, nigga, spit some. You can write some. And I wrote this little verse. It's like, once upon a time in a land untold, which is in Woolock's floss to find his gold. That was the first shit I ever wrote in my life, the first line. And he was like, yo, you dope. You gonna be dope for real. You gotta just keep doing that shit every day. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, man. You know, a little bit of encouragement. Yeah. That shit that had you feeling yourself. <coughs> Hell yeah. No, so, that's I mean, tight. Yeah, I always knew, bro. I always had it. I always was able to own a room, man. I don't know what to ask this. I don't want to ask on your floor. I almost did some straight light skin shit. <laughs> you good, nigga. You good. You good. Okay. Okay. Now, when did you, when did you, when did you. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, so you said you was a, a young actor, had headshots and all that. Yeah. So you, you went to acting class? Yeah. Management? I had an acting coach one time, and uh, the monologue she told me to do was Tupac. You remember her? Was her? I would love to know her name right what now. What city was it in? I want to say Culver City. Okay, 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 okay. But she wanted like 250 every time we met, so I gave her the 250 one time. And then, you know, the next time, nigga, 250 wasn't coming around so often. How old was you? Ah, oh, shit. 18? Okay, okay, okay. So I was already really trying to start going into movies and shit, because I already knew, like, yo, I can do this shit. But you know how it is. It's oversaturated. Yeah. It's hard, you know? They'll look at you and be like, ah, oh, you're not fat enough. No, you're not okay. skinny enough for this. And the monologue you know? she had you do was Pac. She had me do Pac being interviewed, where Pac basically was, like, talking about the injustice on everything. Yeah. So you know what I mean? I, and I would watch Pac's movements and he'd be like, look, you gotta understand one thing. I don't give a damn if it's you or you. <laughs> All y'all gonna know something about me. And he'll get, he'll get, his energy was just like, what's this nigga saying? Yeah, yeah, Let yeah. Let me listen yeah, to command this the room. Yeah. So I told myself from that moment on, every time you get somewhere, command the room. At least for five minutes. Yeah. And then once you do that, you create relationships, you know, pass information, show people your talents. Don't take long to show a nigga you're talented. Yeah. Then yeah. I feel like if I could do that a hundred times a day to a hundred new people, it's just a matter of time. Most definitely. You know? Most definitely, 
most definitely. When would you say you took like your first stab at like something for real? Cause look, I know you do music, mm -hmm. and I know you do the the, the social media thing. But I'm gonna take me to before that was around. MySpace hasn't been thought of. Phones with screens hasn't been thought of. Mm -hmm. What was Kevin Kent doing when you had a flip, uh, 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 a I razor? Was, nigga, I was I was selling dime, <coughs> selling dime bags, yo, and okay. rapping in school, writing verses, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, I came out of doing that. I had my first kid at 17, so I was always trying to just trap, make a little money, you know what I mean? I don't give yeah. a damn. And then I started um, I started rapping, and then I told myself. Fuck this, you know what I'm saying? I was working jobs, I was working construction, I'm an electrician too, so I was doing that. And then I was like, yo, about probably like 21, 22, I was like, fuck this shit, you know? I'm finna just do this rap shit full time. So I started just rapping, 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 rah, 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 every day. Yeah, I could rap, but it takes a lot more than that, you know what I'm saying? Nowadays it takes, you gotta have the full rounded shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So after that, I learned like quickly, like, all right, shit. And really this just last year is when I changed it all up. Cause I had this shit as Cali Raps, that was my name for a long time. You can look up shit, I got videos with over 100,000 views on YouTube. Okay. But I deaded all that shit. Because I had to kill myself off. Kinda like K-Dot did with Kendrick Lamar when he became, you don't really see much K-Dot shit no more. Yeah. So I just got rid of all that shit. Literally, I had 3,800 followers. I deleted the whole Instagram page. And started at zero. It hurt me to do it. My girl was there with me. I was like, yo, but these are my people. And my brother was like, yo, look, if they really your people, when you pop it, they gonna find you again. And I'm like, yo, and that, that seems to be true <coughs> because now they're that's all back. That's true. That's and now I got true. damn near 29K I just hit within under six months. Mm. And that's because I switched the whole way I did things up. I didn't try to force my music down the throat no more. Now I showed them my personality and my comedic side and my timing and my energy, nigga, my aggression. Fucking so now they can see me like, yo, they're like, oh shit, okay, hold on. Yeah. The fuck is this nigga saying? Yeah. Yeah, Duh. yeah. No, it's working for you. I it has you. been. You know, it I has see you. Been. I see you doing your motherfucking thing. Thank you, bro. But you know, once you start doing things that that are considered like, oh, you're doing your thing, it's ten times harder. Yeah. Cause now it's like, oh shit, nigga, my foot's in the door, but this shit ain't open yet. Yeah, because you, you, when you started it, you was doing it for the love and for the passion. Then when you got in the game, now you're one of the numbers in the rankings. So you're you're now. Now the, love, the love is still there, but you're fighting for numbers to stats. try to get into this ranking stats, that nigga. you were thinking about when you jumped, you know what Yo, I'm saying? I'm, I know what you mean, I'm bro. I'm G-League right now, nigga. <laughs> yeah. I'm on the bench in G-League, <laughs> watching Fatboy go up nigga. for a dunk, nigga. I'm a, hey, I created my own term, like, nigga, I'm an underground YouTuber, like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, you right. got underground rappers, like, nigga, nobody ever said that, like, nigga, I'm an underground YouTuber. But I'm a YouTuber. slowly is becoming mainstream with over 25K subs, yeah, nigga, you, yeah. we your did, shit yeah. is getting up there fast and it yeah. will only continue to do so because you guys are humble and you guys reach out to people that are on the come up. So a year from now, when all of us are popping, you gonna remember that person that brought you down to the spot with the little green screen and, and, and showed you love. And Thank I, I'm that type Thank of nigga, yo. I, I hope so. Man, I call yeah. show every day and I'm like, yo, show, we over here, pull up, here's the location. Yeah. Come pull up. We be doing I'm here that. with everybody. Pull yeah. up. I try to call you one time. Yo, that's was sick. And I, yo, because I want my people with me. Yeah. I want yeah. to. I want no, to. I wanted to pull up that day. I'm, I know. And, and then when I seen y'all was with T Dimes, I was like, that's my niggas. Hold up. I hit I you, yo. That. I hit you. I like, know. Yo, pull up. You hit me. You mm -hmm. hit but me, yo, man. life, life be happening, man. You gotta no. know how to balance life too. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's the hardest part. That's what ninety percent of niggas fail. So okay, and then speaking of that, uh, we gotta shout out the homie. Like, how did I like? So you doing uh, skits with? Wait, hold up. I want to go back, but let's just talk. But I want to. I want right. to reiterate what you was just talking about. You doing skits with Quan T Diamonds? I see you with King Louis the Thirteenth, uh, Fat Boy SSC. Mm -hmm. How do all these relationships come about so fast? Yo, this is how exactly how it happened. I'm gonna tell you exactly how it happened. So, I met Show on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Show hit me up and was like, "Yo, I charge niggas usually, but come to my radio station. Your shit is dope." I came to the radio station that night. His radio shit wasn't working. I couldn't play no music. Mm -hmm. So all of our love came off of conversation. And I communicated who I am and what I've been through and what I bring to the table, you know what I'm saying? And, I, and, and he was like, yo fam, I wanna fuck with you, your shit is dope, show me love. So then he started telling Watsomi Kwan about me. Mm -hmm. So then Watsomi Kwan started hitting me up, we started conversating, shout out to Watsomi Kwan. So Watsomi Kwan did a shoot with me, um, uh, Chris Kennedy, 1001, mm -hmm. and uh, Crackin' Ass Key. Mm -hmm. And we all hit it off. So then Chris Kennedy and Crackin' Ass Key and us linked up and started doing skits. 
So first day I linked up with Kraken as Key, she's like, we're gonna go shoot with Dan. I'm like, Dan, all right, I don't know who the fuck Dan is, but you know, let's go. Yeah. We get there, it's Dan Rue. Yeah. Rude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that He's on FaceTime yeah. with Snoop Dogg. I walk in, <laughs> like, oh shit, this shit is so real. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, and you're just walking I'm into just in this his shit. apartment. Like, I'm in his room with all his clothes and all his stuff, and I'm standing there with him. That's crazy. And then I just have, and I tell, and you know, at those moments, you you have to know, be yourself. Yeah. Be who you are. That yeah. got you. There. And that and that opens up. And then uh, so them niggas uh, introduced me to Mr. Boot Up and all them, mm -hmm. and um, uh, Fat, Hon uh, Fat Boy SSE, you know what I'm saying? We linked up with Fat Boy, shot some shit with Fat Boy and Cracking Ass Key. So just basically like plugging that, and then they took me to, um, that night, same night I met Fat Boy SSE, they brought me to OG Louis. I didn't know who OG Louis was. No disrespect mm -hmm. to the OG the legend. I did not know who mm -hmm. he was physically. I'm just showing niggas my videos. When you hit me, I was like, wait, you mean... <laughs> I'm just showing niggas my videos, so I showed them, I'm like, yo, look, man, I made myself Ellen. So I'm showing OG Louie, which I didn't know who he was at the time, just showing this random dude my video, and he's like, oh, shit. He's like, what's your number? So I gave him my number, I was like, yo, hit me, man, you know I'm always like, hey, yeah, you yeah. know the, the <laughs> yeah. phrase you say to every nigga you meet, tap in, let's work. <laughs> yo, he hit me that next morning, like, yo, come to my office, I want to sit down and talk with you and shit. So I went down there, yo, we chopped it up. I started showing him all my work. He's like, yo, I want to start doing a bunch of shit with you. Like, I want you to be in skits with Snoop Dogg and all these motherfuckers that he, everybody comes to this spot. Yeah. You know, if you know who he is, bro, yeah. he's, he fucks with everybody. No, so. yeah, I know who King Louie is for sure. Yeah, that's, so. That's OG Louie the 13th uh -huh. for those that yep, don't know, yep. man. Yeah, OG yeah. Louis the 13th, man. The, yeah, for sure, for uh, sure. He's, he's a great guy. ass, humble dude, too. Yeah, I hear. Humble. I hear. I called I him hear. one time, he didn't pick up. He called me back like 20 minutes later, like, yo, I apologize, man. I'm with my family. I was like, bro, you don't gotta apologize to me. Like, yeah. take your time, bro. Hit me whenever you're free, you know what I mean? Cool dude, that type man. of dude, you know? So, yeah. yo, so I just feel like um, I gotta shout out Chris Kennedy 1001 because Chris was like, yo, I fuck with you. Come around. He brought me around Fatboy SSE, mm -hmm. and he brought me around OG Louie. Real nigga. So Chris Kennedy 1001 forever got my loyalty, yo. Go follow him. Watts Homie Quan brought me around and forever got my loyalty, bro. And and off top, show. Because yeah, if yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah, for yeah. show letting me go that night, because we've been doing our skits. Me and Wifey was just doing skits, building on our own. We went yeah. viral. We hit a little 550,000 on a video we did in our kitchen. Yeah. So we was already yeah. making our own yeah. little move, you off know what I mean? But Show reached out to me and was like, yo, come get down. Get with this nigga. He was, Show yeah. went to watch me Kwan and was like, look, you need to fuck with this nigga. Yeah. So yeah. niggas like that, I salute, yo, salute. for real. Because yeah. we got to show love about. to our people. Yo. That's what it's about, showing that love. A lot of niggas be scared to show the next nigga or introduce a nigga with another nigga in fear of whatever. And I be like, come on, bro. Like, come it's, on. It's kind of like a, a nigga that sells drugs. You don't, he don't ever want to introduce you to the connect. Yeah. Because he yeah. feels like you're going to take the connect. And when that happens, you always end up usually getting a connect somehow, right? Yeah. Because even the connect realizes that. Exactly. Because and, and it's Niggas like don't like that. And I recognize what's going on. Like I'd be like, nigga, I read the same books, my nigga. I I'm watching the same YouTube <laughs> yeah. videos you're watching. I, I nigga, yeah. I know what's going on. I know the laws. I know what's going on, bro. So it's like. Since we all know the game, mm -hmm. let's just share with each other and Why get it cracking, my nigga. Like, Why man. hoard knowledge or hoard contacts? Why do that? Exactly. You, you, are, you are only making your shit cl cl clouded with bullshit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. when niggas, when people hoard in their house, the shit's full of crap. When you hoard knowledge, it's full of crap. So none of your shit ever pops because you that type of nigga. Exactly. When you stop doing that and you, and you bridge the gap, yo, I'm over here with T-Diamonds, pull up. I'm over here with Fat Boy, pull up. I'm over here with... It gets to cracking for you. Come on. It gets to cracking it, for you. Yo, that's how it's been happening so fast, bro. Seriously. It's I gained like a thousand followers in two days. That's like big. just off of pure like. That's man. how it starts bubbling. That's it how it starts, starts bubbling. bubbling. It starts I didn't even drop the shit we shot yet. Yeah. That's just off of people just seeing you with the people, you know? I got. I just thought of a little light bulb idea. We're going to game some off camera. All right. Yeah. Nah, you we talked about what it take now. We talked about, you know where you at now but we ain't talk about that that how you got there like right. like big boy on the radio say everybody say you know oh kevin kent the overnight success it must have been a long ass motherfucking night then the longest night man. you know what i'm saying yeah, so yo, I'm let's talk get back into it. them grinding years yeah oh, i will nigga. i will i'm gonna talk about it right now because there's more of that than there is any of this yeah yeah you know I'm saying there's way more of that than any of this bro all of this shit is a is a flicker mm -hmm. to really make the the quick little ksh, it's like lighting the lighter ksh, that doesn't light it just yeah. flickers all of that yo to get to it has been crazy i'm talking about sleepless nights fights with people that you love in your life because mm -hmm. maybe you allocating time where it shouldn't be in their minds yeah but you know 
I know I can take this shit. You know what I'm saying? I know yeah. I can make this shit happen. Exactly. But yeah. the, the, the stress and the fighting and the love and the breakups and the heartaches and the, the rent that got to come. You know what I'm saying? How you paying rent, nigga? What you paying rent with? Yeah. Shit, you know? I don't... Get it nigga, yeah. I've been paying rent since 17 yeah, on my man. own. I'll tell you that. I've been paying rent since 17. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I know how to pay some fucking rent. I know how to survive. Yeah. So I just feel like you gotta, you know, all those times that I was down and out and, you know, sleep. I slept in abandoned apartments with my baby mom pregnant on the floor with me sleeping. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Real mm, shit. Yeah. And in those moments, mm, that's them I was humble and I was thinking of ways out, always. I never sat and sulked and thought to myself, oh, I'm in an abandoned apartment. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. all right, what can we do? You got $40, I got 80. Let's get a fucking ounce. Let's bag up dimes. Let's go hang around where all these niggas are smoking. You know, yeah. one thing leads to another. Yeah. Communication. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, yeah, that's some stories. Now, the first stop was acting. You got a lighter? Yeah, the first shit is acting, but I've always been rapping too. Rapping is what I'm doing all of this for. Okay. All of this little comedy bullshit is cute, but I'm a rapper, bro. I got okay. a story to tell. I got, you know, real shit that I'm that I've been through, yo. And that's why that's 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 what I was getting to, the album. Yeah. Uh, I'm really excited about the album, bro. <laughs> I really am, yo. You know what excites me more is that like I'm doing all this shit in the crib. I'm mastering it with Lander for ten dollars a track. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I'm mastering, I'm doing it all myself, I'm not paying nobody nothing. Yeah. And then I'm putting it on iTunes and selling hundred and twenty copies. It ain't a lot, but ten dollars a piece, nigga. I just made eleven hundred dollars. I ain't, mean, you know. Yeah. Niggas are getting music for free. That's bad. So yeah. if I could do that and I'm giving the shit for free at the same time, I feel like I just gotta keep that repetitive motion going. That's lit. You know, accumulate it. That's lit. Um, yeah, but I'm excited about the album, bro. The album's called Poison. Um, I said I was gonna drop it March 30th, but I'm kind of holding off, like letting this little buzz build up that I got going. Okay. You know, let it build okay. a little more. Okay. Okay. And um. That. Now, what's, yeah. okay, what's the mystique? Is it a summer album or what? Nah, I'm doing a lot of singing on here though, for real. Okay. I got like four tracks singing. I got a reggae track where I'm like rapping and reggae and singing. That's hard. Yeah. That's hard. Cause yeah. I'm a DJ Quick fan and that nigga used to do that on his albums. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I got a song that I actually remixed to DJ Quick. It's called uh, Be mm. Careful. Oh yeah. Yeah, that shit got That's like 25,000 views on YouTube in like a month. So yo, go check that shit for real. That shit hard. Yeah. Don't make me pull up on you, bitch. <laughs> hey, hey, with my windows down, talking shit. <laughs> Nigga, that shit, I'll tell you. That's the type of shit that we coming with for the summer. But I'm more on like the hard rap shit, you know what I'm saying? I've always been more on that. I fuck with, I really fuck with Top Shelf, man, like for real. <laughs> Top Shelf came to the crib a few times. Him and his wife, he, uh, are great people. Appreciate you, my nigga. Y'all go subscribe down below. Turn on post notifications. Please. Go follow on Instagram. Go follow every page. You know? And go follow the homie who is Kevin Kent Please, on the motherfucking man. YouTube, too, because we need to be monetized over Come here. On, man. We need them out with them, them watch hours and them subs to yeah. go up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Back to the album, though. You said it was going to drop on the 30th, but we switched that up. I might still, uh, I got it done and mastered and finished and ready and everything. I got the artwork and everything. It's completely done. All I got to okay. do is send it to iTunes, which is a fucking email away. Any features? Uh, I featured Inkwell on there. Okay. That's show's wifey. Ink very well. Go follow her. Okay. She's dope. Three drinks later. She is crew. dope. For okay. real, for real. I really fuck with her. She's actually the only one that I featured on. I actually featured another dude named Smoker's Room, a singer dude. Okay. He's dope as fuck too, so. Yeah, but that's it. I ain't really got many features. It's like 10 songs, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just going off on a few and I'm letting you see there's another melodic side too, you know what I mean? That's dope as fuck. Variety. Production, Production shit. Random YouTube niggas. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. The random YouTube niggas. As far as producers, I just like to go through YouTube, find a bunch of niggas. I emailed, I send a little shit out like, yo, send me beats to this email. And people send me beats, so you know what I'm saying? A couple dudes, but um, no real big names, you know what I'm saying? Um, just basically cats that got the sound that I'm going for and you know let's make big names together let's become big together yeah you know what I mean so, so anybody I, I do beat with I, I always show love and shout them out and you know post their shit and add them give them their credits you know what I mean dope as fuck yeah man dope as fuck what's the future for Kevin Kent man Oh, when, they, when they know who is Kevin Kent, when they know who When they know, at the, when they really know, they're gonna know two things. One is I'm a hard working ass, humble person that loves everybody, for real, for real. I really do love okay. everybody, no bullshit. But number two, they're gonna know that I'm really not fucking around. Like I really can rap. 
I really can act, I really can do skits, I got great ideas. I know how to surround myself with people that are great. So that's how you know somebody is really poised for success. Because people will be great and be still sitting there with weirdos. You gotta know when to cut weirdos out of your life no matter how much you love them. If you've given me 1% of weirdness, that's already too much for my 100% success. Yeah, yeah. I can't have, I'm not doing 92%. Fuck all that. that. So I'm really just not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop. The only thing that's gonna stop me, bro, and God say it, is death or sell. And I'm not hoping for neither. Or I'm not aiming towards neither. Yeah. Nah, I'm only doing good, positive things. I'm not burning nobody. I'm not talking behind niggas' backs. I'm not telling on nobody. I'm not doing no type of weirdo shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being myself and just being humble and coming in with the I wanna work. Yeah. That's only gonna be great for me, I feel. I feel like, honestly, five years from now, I'm gonna have my own brand, I'm gonna have my own show, my own wild and out type of shit. Yeah, because I'm better than these yeah, niggas. I really yeah. feel that way. Humbly. Even if you do it on your own. You have to humbly tell yourself, I, I don't give a fuck. Because then when you do that, you're able to be in the room with them and still outshine them. Yeah. I've been in the room with a lot of greats and I've been always being seen because I know how to speak in a moment, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like the, the, the possibilities are endless for real. That's dope. You know? That's dope. But for you too, bro. You don't you, 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 you don't wait. There's no come on man. Appreciate it. And, and and that's why I surround myself with people like top. Because like minded people are gonna get you there faster, man. Appreciate you know, it. With all of us doing this shit, your girl right here behind camera, my girl right here behind camera, you know what I'm saying? Our friends are all doing the same thing. Yeah. You know, and that's what it's gonna take, man. So Nick, uh next question. If you could uh if you could go back and talk to Kevin Kent, who was in an abandoned spot, but he's still gonna live the same life, what would you what would you tell the nigga? I'm talking about what you tell him ain't gonna change shit. He's still gonna end up right, right here with right. top on Refuse Media. Fact, fact, fact. I wanna know, what would you tell him just to prepare for the shit he finna face? I would just warn him about the poisons of the world. Mm -hmm. Because, you know what I'm saying, I lost my brother and my baby mama and my father in three years, all from the same shit. You know, that drug shit is no bullshit, so. You know, I went through a lot of times where I was selling the same drug that they died from. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I contributed to it as well. You know, so I would tell you this. I would tell myself this. Watch out for the poisons and don't include them in your grind. Don't include them in your rise because they have consequences. Mm. And losing people like that is just, you know, there's no coming back from that. And, you know, that type of shit, I never, I never use, I never cry on no shoulders about it. You know what I'm saying? I never dwell on it or nothing. All I do is tell myself, we all get one shot at this motherfucker. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, you gotta be having your shit on point. Dope. Yeah, but. No, most definitely dope ass advice. Dope ass advice for damn sure. Yeah, man. For real, for real. Let me ask you a question though. What, when you see it, what do you see? And on, on who is Kevin Kent future? Yeah. How does it look to you? How does it shape up to somebody else? And not just because we friends and not you could dumb it down. Oh, I could be a banker or something one day, or maybe, uh, <laughs> you know, have a, a, a janitor job in a high school somewhere, nigga. Hey. You know what? And I don't even want to, like, for who I'm finna say, don't think I went too big. Right. Man, honestly, bro, like Will Smith. I feel that for myself too. Okay, like so I you want to? Okay, yeah. no, I see. Like, I really do. I watch a lot of that's will. That's what's coming to my. I watch a lot of will, bro. A lot of will, wisdom, talks, and motivation, and just shit going on. You laughing or sneezing? Oh, my girl's so cute. Yo, she tried to hold that shit in too. Uh, but yeah, now nah, Will has always been a mentor, man. I mean, you know, just watching how he raises his children and holds his family. Even though, you know, him and his wife been through mad shit or whatever, and his trials and tribulations, he still carries himself with a poise that's just like, yeah. you know he's finna do it. Yeah. Will Smith said the greatest thing, he said, I'm not the best actor ever. He said, I'm not as powerful as Denzel, I'm not as good looking as Brad Pitt. He's like, but I outwork everybody yeah. because I never stop. When they're eating, I'm working. When they're sleeping, I'm working. Yeah. You know, when they're crying and going through struggles, I'm working. That's what you gotta do. There's no way, yeah, that's what you gotta do, bro. You gotta work skill. through the struggle, yo. And that's what, and you, you do a lot of that. I see you, you, I see you as a, definitely like a Charlemagne the God, 
type of dude, but way better looking. Cause you ain't got patches <laughs> on your face, nigga. I ain't gonna put you down like that. Nigga. But uh, I think Charlamagne the God is one of those type of dudes. Much love to him. Who he doesn't hold back on what he could do. He does everything. He don't care. He yeah. says the shit that people really want to know, and he doesn't hold his tongue, and he bees himself. You know what I mean? And there's a there's a mystique about that because that actually is your element of like success because that's what takes you there. Yeah. You know, yeah, niggas gotta have their gimmicks. Appreciate you. Yo, good you looking. got it. With the yeah. shit that I see you do, posting four, five, six videos a day, good it makes looking. me be like, damn, nigga, I'm not going hard enough. Good looking. Baby, good sit looking. down. We doing something too. <laughs> sit down. Me and my girl start sitting down, doing Spotlight Saturdays. Nigga, let's try this. These niggas are on to something. Yeah. You know, so y'all motivating me. Good looking. You man. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. that's why I try to do that with the Thank skits you. and show y'all, yo, 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 and I see y'all shit. I seen you in the Walmart with your kids and the whole family. <laughs> I mean, they doing the whole thing. Thank you. And it makes me dead yeah. like, damn, nigga, shit, this nigga's showing everything. Yeah. I need to show more, you know? Yeah, yeah. But and you know what? I had to learn that. You know? I had to learn that. That's what got me a little bit, a little bit more buzzing because it was like, okay, they know what you do, bro. But now everybody wondering, who are you? Like you said, who, are who you? is Kevin Kent? They wondering, like, who, who is are Kevin you? Kent? Who are so you? So I had to let them, I had to show them, like, well, wait, this is who I am. I do everything. Yeah. And they caught on. They like, oh, okay, you can't. I told them from the jump, I'm mm -hmm. Sammy Davis Jr. grandson. Come on. You know, I do it and, all. And I put you <laughs> on the camera to act, and your ass was right there. Ready? Bro, and that's, bro, and that's what I'm saying, like, I gotta get out a little more of who I, nigga, I have headshots and shit too. Like I had, a, I, I was signed to Warner Brothers. I had agencies and Come all of that on. shit. So like they know. don't know that. So you know. I can, I can, you know the I can grind. jump into some shit, you bro. You know the grind, yeah. man. And that's what makes you be able to do these interviews so well because you're asking questions you know your own answers to. Yeah. So if you know these answers and you know a real nigga sitting across from you, he has these similar answers, but his story is always gonna be a little different. And it's an interesting to know people's stories. You know, my mom's handicapped. She never walked a day in her life. Mm. And she's white, she's Italian. So I was born in the 80s when that shit wasn't cool. Mm. My dad was black and she was white. I only mm. saw my mom and dad in the same room ever once. Mm. I was eight years old. I got one picture with them ever that I wouldn't know where it is. But, you know, so having these experiences growing up with a mom that could never drive a car. And, you know, I was already gr forced to be humble. Yeah. I was forced to be having a grind. My mom, there was times, nigga, she couldn't get out of bed when I was five years old, nigga. I had to make my own sandwiches. Mm. I remember being hungry, nigga, thinking mm. like, damn, she can't even get out of bed. You know what I mean? Damn. Yeah, yo, so, you know, that shit is all, man, whatever. It's life. Niggas have stories. I don't, you know, none of that shit matters. It's how you have interpreted them, taken them, and cha changed the game with them now. Yeah. The future, today. Today, my hunger and passion comes from those hungry nights. It comes from those moments of arguing with my girl at 2 a.m. Nah, we ain't doing this, this is stupid. Yeah. You gonna edit all night? We gonna do this all night? Are we gonna do this? You know, and that's, and I feel it. Cause I feel like that to myself. Damn, we gonna do this all night? When's the, when's the, when's the progress gonna show? Mm. But when it does show, it's fast. Yeah. Yeah. It's so fast, my nigga, and it's like, oh shit. It's all making sense. We on the right track. Like, yeah. thank God, nigga. Oh, nigga, let's really do this now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Give you that. Oh, nigga. This what time it is. So this what I had to do. This is. It's okay. like when you about to fight and you get punched the first time. You're like, oh, that was it. Yeah. Oh, I can. I, I'm let's good. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. I can fight a little bit. All right. Yeah. Nigga, we can go a minute or two, nigga. But, but yeah, that's where I'm at with it right now, man. I feel like it's the time. We have to bridge every gap. Show up to every event. Be there every time they see you. You yeah. have to make them love you more and more. Most definitely. Shake your hands and kissing babies, nigga. Most definitely. I gotta ask you, nigga, before we get up out of here. Mm -hmm. I usually say, what's your top five, you know, rappers? What's your top five multi-talents? Oh, shit. Pac, number one. Okay. Pac, oh. I think, was the greatest. Um, yeah. There's Pac songs from 25 years ago that are still better than every song now. Yeah. Yo, so, and That's his acting skill, ability. Yeah. His ability to know that time is limited and to maxify everything, he's definitely number one. Um, I definitely have to say Drake is number two because Drake may not write all his own songs, but Denzel doesn't write all his own movies. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody else gonna play those roles like yeah. Drake just did this. Yeah. So fall back and understand an uh, orchestrator Orchestrators know how to put it and together. And Drake's a motherfucker with the pen. Like, you know what I mean? Let's not like, play let's, with yeah, Drake, yeah. dog. Come on, like, stop. Don't get Drizzy fucked. Like, don't you know, get Drizzy he, fucked he up, yo. Know. He ain't like, a fool know. with it. He's smart enough to know. You know, and um, definitely I'd have to say 
Uh, Kendrick is a really inspirational, man. I shot a video for Kendrick in 2010 mm. in a dusty ass parking lot in Watts somewhere. Word? Yeah, dog. It's online right now. It's still on the YouTube? It's called Mandatory. J-Rock, Absol. It's called Mandatory. I shot that shit, edited that shit. Word. Kendrick was nobody, bro. K-Dot. And they were like, yo, he gonna blow, man. This is before J-Rock had a song with Lil Wayne. Before all that. And they were yes. like, and they were like wow. he gonna blow. And I was just like, that <laughs> I swear to God. And now I told myself, <laughs> that little nigga, I don't see it. I'll tell you what, the day I saw a nigga walk across that Grammy stage, you know, <laughs> I thought to myself about the moment in the parking lot when we was all out there and he was just being cool with everybody, being nice to everybody, humble, showing love, and, then, and that's it. That's it. That's what made him the star. That's what opened the door that got him there to be able to do that for Dre. For Dre to be like, come on. Yeah. And then definitely I gotta add Dr. Dre. He'd probably be number four. Dr. Dre, the shit he's been able to do with, he finds the talent. Nigga, Eminem, 50 Cent, Snoop Dogg. Niggas that have game. Niggas that have gone multi-platinum. Like, to me, that is just incredible, bro. I gotta credit him, bro. He's a, a billionaire in yeah. his own right. You know, he started fucking 20 minutes from here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In a dusty-ass house. So, man, those dudes definitely. And right. number yeah. five, I, I probably have to say, as much as I want to use like an actor or somebody, like, as far as my best top five inspiration, Eminem, dog. Eminem? Because he I went against all odds. Will Smith is, I mean, you, we know it, but Will Smith wasn't a good rapper. <laughs> I'm a rapper, bro. I like He's rappers. Okay, you know, okay, so okay. I, I like a nigga that can act and do that rapping shit. Oh, shit, you body some shit? Like, Eminem came from a trailer park being white in a time where you wasn't having that. There wasn't no white rappers. Vanilla Ice. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> this nigga came in and was just like, done. He ended rap niggas' careers. And I only can applaud that and accredit that and be like, yo, that is magical right there, bro. To be able to have that heart in his chest, to be able to like, I'm gonna go up against all these motherfuckers. I'm gonna go up against all these niggas. <coughs> and I'm gonna be myself. You know, and yeah. it, man, he got a brand, a name. He can be 63 and drop a song, and niggas gonna hear it. You gonna at least hear it. You gonna at least hear it. You know what I mean? You gonna at least check it out. But, uh, <laughs> you may not cop the album or nothing, but you. This nigga stupid. Hey, thank you for having me, though, for uh, real, man. I appreciate you. At, for who coming, is Kevin my Kemp, man? Top you Show. My guy. You already know, man. Top Show Jacques, Refuse Media. Y'all gonna see a lot more of us, nigga. Yeah, man. It's gonna be cracking. Mm -hmm. Three drinks later, man. There it's it real. is. Y'all go follow the girls too. Who is Marty Blanco? Top shelf T. There it is. Peace. Love y'all.